Hey everybody, welcome to today's lesson to review radiographic anatomy demonstrated on routine projections of the chest. In a previous lesson, we discussed the anatomy of the chest and which radiographic projections are routinely performed, so let's tie that information to the radiographs themselves. As a reminder, the routine radiographic projections of the chest are PA and lateral. Take a look at this radiograph. What projection is being demonstrated? How do you know? Let's take a look. If you said PA projection of the chest, you're correct. While you may have guessed correctly, it's important to know the evaluation criteria to ensure it is a true PA view with sufficient inspiration. Both lungs from apices to costophrenic angles should be demonstrated. A minimum of 10 posterior ribs above the diaphragm should be visualized with sufficient inspiration. Both sternoclavicular joints should be the same distance from the center of the spine. The trachea should be visible in the midline, and the distance from the lateral rib margins to the vertebral column should be the same on both sides from upper to lower ribs to ensure no rotation. Now, let's discuss the anatomy visualized on the PA chest. Beginning at the superior portion of the chest, we see the air-filled trachea at midline, apices of the lungs, clavicles, thoracic vertebrae, aortic arch, carina or tracheal bifurcation, pulmonary markings, heart shadow, right and left hemidiaphragms, and costophrenic angles. Also present is the gastric bubble in the fundus of the stomach. Now let's count the ribs to make sure this image has sufficient inspiration. We always count the posterior ribs on the right side because the right hemidiaphragm is higher because of the liver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten above the diaphragm. And you can see number 11 just below. What projection of the chest is being shown in this radiograph? Let's take a look. If you said lateral, you're correct. Yes, this is the only other projection in the series, but how would you know it was lateral just by looking? Well, the evaluation criteria tells us that a true lateral is evidenced by the hyla visible in the approximate center of the radiograph, superimposition of the ribs posterior to the vertebral column, the sternum demonstrated in profile, and the trachea visible in the midline. The anatomy demonstrated on the lateral chest radiograph from superior to inferior includes the lung apices, scapula, trachea, sternum, ribs, hyalur region, heart shadow, thoracic vertebrae, posterior ribs, diaphragm, costophrenic angles, and gastric bubble. Were you able to correctly identify the anatomy of the chest on both projections? In summary, the routine radiographic projections of the chest include the PA and lateral. Obtaining clear diagnostic quality images of the chest can help identify fractures and other pathologic conditions. Identifying and recognizing the relevant anatomy is the first step in ensuring the evaluation criteria are met.